moving on to question number three my friends which i think is very similar to the problem before maybe even less challenging maybe so who knows but anyways let's begin the rate at which a baby bird gains weight is proportional to the difference between its adult weight and its current weight at time t equals zero when the bird is first weighed it, its weight is 20 grams cool if b of t is the weight of the bird in grams at time t days after its first weight then db dt is equal to this let y equal b of t be the solution to the differential equation with b of zero equal 20. so is the bird gaining weight faster when it weighs 40 grams or when it weighs 70 grams right well is it growing is it i'm going way too fast when is it uh, the bird gaining weight faster well we're talking about speed here right when is that rate when is that rate faster than the other rate when is or which one is which right so essentially what we want to do is we want the equation that gives us the rate and if we plug both of these in they're going to tell us how fast the bird is gaining weight at those two values well the good news is we already have the derivative equation we already have the rate equation right um which is right here the rate at which a baby bird gains weight which they gave it to us so db over dt is equal to one fifth 100 minus 40 and we'll do db over dt is equal to one fifth 100 minus 70 this is going to give me 30 over 5 this is going to give me 60 over 5 um 60 divided by 5 hold on one second i believe is 12 and 30 divided by 5 is 6. so which one of these has a rate that is having the baby birds gain weight gain weight at a faster rate well that's happening when it weighs 40 grams right so the bird is gaining faster when it weighs uh 40 grams versus 70 grams Right, because um, because well, let's think about our reasoning, right? Because at forty grams, the rate is um, twelve grams per day versus at seventy grams. it's uh it's it's weight the of i should say maybe the rate of weight increase versus at 70 grams it's uh rate of weight increase or weight change is six grams Per day there it is okay so pretty much we're just saying that the bird is gaining way faster at 40 grams than 70 grams because the rate at which the bird is gaining weight uh, is is faster 12 grams per day versus six grams per day very good next problem find d the uh find the second derivative of b use the second derivative to explain why the graph of b cannot resemble the following graph all right well nonetheless even if you don't know how to do this we can definitely take the second derivative db over dt is equal to one fifth 100 minus b again remember like the previous video let's just distribute that one fifth across so db over dt is equal to 100 divided by 5 and i do believe that is 20 again it doesn't even matter again 100 divided by 5 minus one fifth b well what's going to happen is when we take the second derivative when we go to take our second derivative and I'm copying it just like the question has it. The derivative of 100 divided by 5 is 0. We get negative 1 fifth. This is with respect to t. There's no t. So this is db over dt. Go ahead and we know db dt is that function up above. So this is negative 1, one fifth times 1 fifth times 100 minus b. 
we get negative 1 over 25, which is 100 minus b. There is our function. Now, why does this not make sense to us, right? Why does this not make sense? Well, let's try to think about this. Let's try to think about this. <clears throat> if I plug in, let's say 20, 100 minus 20, 20 days, right? Obviously at zero, we have 20. This represents the weight, or sorry, uh, this is representative of the weight, right? And B represents weight, right? The, the B that we're plugging in it represents our weight, which is what we did up here, right? We plugged in 40 grams into B because that represented weight. If we plug in 20, oops, if I plug in 20 in, uh, 20 into B, uh, that's that's just my weight here, right? And 100 into weight. Plug something in the middle, say 50, right? If we plug in 50 into my second derivative function or somewhere around there, I guess maybe 30 or 50, it doesn't matter. Let's just go with 30. If I, if I plug in 30, 100 minus 30 is um, 70. 70 times a negative is a negative. So what that would mean is that our function should be concave down, right? If our second, if I plug in 30 into my second derivative, we should be concave down. But if you look here, this has a portion of the graph that is concave up, which doesn't make sense, right? And if you actually think about it, it doesn't matter what you plug in from 20 to 100. If you plug any of those in, right, you're going to get a negative value aside from 100 giving you zero. And it should, so the graph should always be concave down. So um, according to our second derivative, da, 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 okay, the graph should be concave down. And you can write it out. So according to the, the this expert second derivative, the graph should be concave down from weight 20 to 100. But the graph, the graph is concave up. The graph has a portion that's concave up, which does not make sense. Blah, 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 right? You can write that down there. I'm not going to write that down just for now. I think you can write that down because I'm explaining it with words. But anyways, let's go ahead and go on to problem five, which is maybe the biggest thing, right? This is the one question you've got to find on the AP exam is, you know, your area volume, separation of variables, you know, ones that you just know, your ream and sum that you just know you can get real good points from, right? And you'll notice part C is that you separation of variables to find Y equals B of T, the particular solution to the differential equation of b of 0 equals 20 keep in mind that the 20 is representative of your b this number on the inside is always your x or your t right this is always the expression on the bottom here so we got to find the original we're given derivative that means we're going to have to do separation of variables which it told us which means find the original so we get db over dt is equal to 1 fifth 100 minus b let's multiply dt to both sides Divide by 100 minus b to both sides. So divide by 100 minus b to both sides. And we're going to get 1 over 100 minus b. db is equal to 1 fifth dt. <laughs> Let's go ahead now that we separated our variables. Take the antiderivative of both sides. This is ln absolute value of 100 minus b. What's the derivative of the inside? That is negative 1. So we divide by negative 1. This becomes 1 fifth t plus c. Very good. Now that we have that there, let me just rewrite it like the previous problem. Negative ln absolute value of 100 minus b, which is equal to 1 fifth um, t plus c. There we go. Now let's go ahead and plug in our values. Negative ln absolute value of 100 minus, um, let me just double check, I believe it was 20, uh, b of 0 equals so 20, bam, 20, 1 fifth times 0 plus c. We get negative ln absolute value of 80 equal to c. Well, the absolute value of 80 is 80, so L, negative ln of 80. Let's plug that back into my original equation. Negative ln absolute value of 100 minus b is equal to 1 fifth t minus ln of 80. Should be an open parenthesis. There we go. 
Again, before I raise e to both sides, like the previous problem, let's multiply both sides by negative 1. And distribute it across, we get ln absolute value of 100 minus b. You get negative 1 fifth t plus ln of 80. They're very good. Now we are in business to raise both sides to the power of e. Bam. 100 minus b is equal to e to the negative 1 fifth t plus ln of 80. Subtract 100 to both sides. Boom. You get negative b is equal to e to the negative 1 fifth t. Oops. I'm not sure how I got that to be white. Kind of cool. ln of 80 minus 100. And finally, 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 we multiply negative 1 to both sides. Distribute it across. B is equal to the negative 1 does not go to the exponent. It becomes negative E, negative 1 fifth T plus ln of 80 uh, plus 100. Bam. And there it is the original function right and I went through that quick and I'm just hoping after the last video it just kind of made more sense all right um, with that being said thank you for shopping